How we doing, YouTube? It's been a long time, but I have something so cool here for you that I have decided to come out of retirement one more time to kind of take a look at it with you. And if you're looking at it right in front of you, obviously you're going to see a couple of boxes with a very, very familiar name on them. I think pretty much everybody knows the Dual Light brand. Um, they've been around for many, many years, have created so many iconic emergency lights over the years. Everybody knows about the Exquisite, the Excalibur, the Lightform Series Easy Snap, which revolutionized the industry as a whole anyway. But we have something right here that uh, I have actually been fortunate enough to have been sent by Dual Light for review, and I'm very happy to be able to do this. Everybody probably knows about the Easy 2. If you don't, I'm going to overlay one right over the screen right now. The Easy 2 has been around since 1982, and it went until this year when it was replaced with a new product. Um, everybody knows that iconic look of the Easy 2. It has two 5.4 watt incandescent lamps for the standard model and seven watt lamps for the Spectron model. Dual Light has decided to get with the technology train and the EZ2 is going LED. What does that mean? Well, I'm about to show you. Right here on this label tells you the entire story. This is the EZ2L. What this means is this has two one watt LED optics delivering approximately 139 lumens per optic and it shares the internals of the Evolution Series EV2 unit. This is a very small unit. Everybody knows the size of the former EZ2. This thing you can hold in the palm of your hand. It's very small, very compact like most modern emergency lights. When you open up the box, this is what you see. This is a installation guide and spec sheet. And when you take the cardboard wrapper out, it is in fact a baby easy two. Do not have an easy two on me. Unfortunately, where I have my emergency lighting units stored, there was a little bit of a collapse and my easy twos are buried right now. So I have the next best thing. I have the sister unit to the easy two to compare the easy two L2. That is a Presco light EDS two, um, also known as the designer series. It has a very similar profile to the easy two. Now the easy two might be a little bit wider on either end, but it still gets the job done of showing you how small this easy 2 l is compared to a traditional emergency light. Now, this one is pretty thick, and the easy 2 is almost as thick once you get into the center portion of it. The easy 2 l mirrors the easy 2 design, except it's so much smaller. And that's what a lot of emergency lighting units are going for today. If you see a new emergency lighting unit used out in the wild, it's tiny. And this one is no exception. It's about 11 inches wide compared to about 14 or 15 inches wide for an EDS-2 or a regular EZ-2. Here's our showcase of emergency lighting units that you're likely to see in new and replacement installs in the modern day. Now, as much as I really like a unit like the Presco Light EDS-2, business owners and building owners typically don't like these anymore. Why? Well, they're big and bulky. They use a 6-volt, 7.2 amp hour battery. They're just really unsightly when they get older as well. Because as you can see, this one in my hand is starting to take on a yellow sheen. Doesn't mean that I don't like them that way. The fact of the matter is a lot of people don't like the yellow look and they want something that's more modern and streamlined. Well, here is the EZ-2L 
compared to all things dual light and not dual light. Of course, we have the Evolution series over here. That is an EV4 with Spectron. Uses the same housing as the EV2. That is an EVHC with Spectron. You see those used in a lot of Walmart stores. And over here, the non-dual light selection, the Jiming LED R1, the Lithonia ELM 2L, and depending upon where you buy it, this is a Surelights APEL or a Changrong CR7032. The Easy 2 l really runs with the size of a lot of these modern units. So what can I say about the Easy 2 l compared to all these? Well, I can definitely tell you that it has the best appearance, in my opinion, out of all these units. And what it does have compared to a lot of the other units is ease of service and performance. The easy 2 l as I've said before, has 139 lumen optics. Over here, you get 60 optics from the APEL. You get 110 lumen optics from the ELM2L. And we don't even want to talk about these things. These things are awful, and they should be avoided at any possible cost, even though people like to use these for the cost because they're 20 bucks a pop. You get what you pay for with the LED R1. Do not use them, they are terrible. On the dual light side, if you're not using an emergency light in an industrial application, which the EVHC by far is the best, that thing is bright as Las Vegas at night. So if you have an industrial application you need an emergency light for, go for that EVHC. The EV2 used to be the best to order from a reputable manufacturer for your emergency lighting needs. But I'm gonna tell you right now, after I've got my hands on the Easy 2 l I love it. There is something that this Easy 2 brings to life that the standard incandescent didn't. The color options were discontinued, but you can get this in a black housing. And I'm definitely gonna order one in a black housing because I'm telling you right now, the white housing is pretty sharp. It is a baby easy to. I've always loved that unit. And I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on a black housing easy 2 l so I can replace another black housing unit that I have in service right now. Internally, this unit is pretty simple. This is the standard model. I would expect the Spectron model to have that populated right there, probably an IC for self-diagnostics. Because this is the same board that they use in the EV2, you also see solder pads for a second battery, which is not offered at this moment on the EZ2L. But I think that'd be an awesome addition. Now I know what you're saying, you're looking for a battery in here, and it's not here. Well, if you flip this unit over, this might look like nothing to you, but if you drop this door down, there's actually a 2.4 volt battery. This is actually a feature that's carried over from the EVHC, which has a battery compartment option. It's very, very simple to connect this battery. Also happens to be the same battery that you would find in an EV2. All you gotta do to connect this battery is plug it in, close the door, and you're all set. The test button lights up green. This is a style change from the normal Easy 2 which as we all know, had a pretty large red test button on the bottom that could glow pretty bright if a battery was not in great condition. Now, I'm about to illustrate the first problem with the Easy 2 l Most emergency lighting units have a bimodal LED on the test button which turns red when your battery is not plugged in and green when it is, regardless of whether it has a full set of self-diagnostic utilities built in or not. The easy 2 l the basic model, does not have this feature, so it's a little misleading and may lead to some people not plugging in the battery and thinking the unit is ready to go. Because if someone flips the unit around, sees this battery lead plugged in, 
and has no knowledge that the EZ2L now has a front-mounted battery compartment, they're not going to know to look in here to find the battery and connect it. So when the lights go out and you need your emergency lights, nothing will happen. Once the battery is connected though, the EZ2L is very, very bright. I'm also about to show you what I feel like is another one of the EZ2L's minor downfalls. It's actually one of its most convenient points. And we just talked about this, the battery compartment. If you open this battery compartment and kind of take a look at the tabs that hold it in and see just how easy this battery compartment is to pop out, I kind of feel like that's one of its negative points. And I say this because of this reason. One of the first times I ever encountered an EZ2 was in one of my former schools. And as we all know, school kids like to tamper with emergency lighting units, and not just emergency lighting units, but anything within their reach to tamper with. If these units are used in a school, a student would have absolutely no problem opening this door, and if it were at the right angle, going ahead and putting something up here heavy enough to knock this door off. Then you got a unit that looks like that, and it's really not the most appealing unit when you have a battery exposed. And I think that goes for pretty much anything and not just a dual light unit. I also believe that these tabs, once the thermoplastic ages, like it does on pretty much every thermoplastic unit, those might become brittle and fall out. And then we would see a lot of easy 2 ls get retired. That's something you have to watch, is having that battery cable in just the right spot. As a solution to that problem, I bring in the EVHC that has a battery compartment. Now the EZ2L is a very visually appealing unit and it may not make much visual sense to have a machine screw that's just an unpainted screw holding in this battery compartment. But I feel like if there was an option for a housing matched battery screw that kept it locked until somebody needed to access this battery compartment, that it would make these problems that I've pointed out with the battery door a lot less of a thought. Well, that's gonna just about do it for this video. I'd like to take this time once again to thank everybody at Hubble Lighting and the Dual Light team for making this possible and sending me this unit to do this review for you. I'm telling you right now, I recommend this unit. It is fantastic and even though it has a couple of minor issues, I would absolutely recommend using the EZ2L, even instead of the EV2. So again, thank you to Hubble Lighting and the Dual Light team. You guys have excellent product here. About to come order my black housing unit from you once I figure out how to do that. This is CompDude512 saying thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen.